think. Our brain thinks he's over here, you're over here. Our brain thinks that his actions create our feelings. They do not. And our brain doesn't understand this because often what has happened is we have these subconscious thoughts. I think it was Haley or Haley that was saying this. Just like, how do I even become aware of the things I'm unaware of? Like, it's tripping me out. Yes, we have so many things that we're unaware of. And our husband did this when we were totally good. We were like smooth sailing-ish. And then our husband was addicted to porn and all of a sudden they come flooding to the surface. I know that's what I felt like for me. For me, I was like, I felt like okay about myself. Like I have physical insecurities, but what girl doesn't, right? But I was like working through it and I was like pretty okay. And then my husband was addicted to porn and all of a sudden I was like, boom, there it is. This is why I'm not enough. It's because my boobs aren't big enough. I'm not skinny enough. I don't weigh that I don't have the right body shape or whatever it is, right? My brain said, here's the reason. And my brain said, oh, and I know why this has happened. It's because we were fine until he started watching porn. And now it's a problem. Therefore, solution, he should stop watching porn and then we'll feel better. You guys with me on this? Can I get an amen? Does everybody's brain think this? It's like, yes. If he would just start telling me the truth, then I would trust him. If he would just stop watching porn, then I'd feel better about myself. If he would just stop acting weird in the bedroom, then I would feel more secure when we are intimate. If he would just get himself together, then I would be fine. But he's over here doing stuff that I don't like, and I don't know how I feel about it. In fact, I do know how I feel about that, and I don't like how I feel about it, right? Yes, amen. <laughs> okay? Best news ever, ladies. You do not have to involve him at all, and you can get better. You're welcome. Okay? And this is a hard pill to swallow. Because one of the things that are, this is when, this is why it's so important to become in charge of your brain. Because if you just let your brain run its course, then your brain is always going to try and solve this. And it's going to exhaust itself because it's impossible to do. Because you can't change whether or not he lies to you. You can't change whether or not he watches porn. You can't change whether or not he glances up when an attractive woman walks by. And if we, if I could teach you guys how to make him into exactly who you wanted him to be, I would do it. I would first do it for my husband, and then I would teach you how to do it for yours. But it is impossible to do. And what we end up trying to do is we, we try to control him. We try to change what we're doing in order to change what he's doing so that we can feel better. I did this. I changed my hair. I lost weight. I made sure the house was clean and the kids were calm because my husband was depressed and he was anxious. And I knew that's when he watched porn more. And so I tried to make sure that I was controlling as much as I possibly could in the hope that then he wouldn't go do the thing that made me feel insecure when he did it. Right? And it was exhausting because I can't actually control him no matter what I did. No matter what I looked like, no matter how much lingerie I wore, no matter how much I put out or said yes or helped with the kids or made him dinner, it didn't change what he was doing. Why? Because what he had, was doing had nothing to do with me. Zero. Your husband's pornography use has nothing to do with you. Zero. But it doesn't feel like it, right? And the reason it doesn't feel like it is because of the thoughts and the beliefs that we have been holding onto subconsciously the things we aren't even aware that we're thinking, that then it brings to the surface. The thoughts that I had, like I wasn't enough. I had no idea that I thought that about myself. In fact, I could have told you, no, I'm not enough. I am very religious. I know God made me. I could spout out all of the wonderful things about how I'm a human being. And that means I have worth and value and blah, blah, blah. And it didn't resonate. And I didn't know that until my husband started watching porn. And lo and behold, it came to the surface. Who knew? I have no idea. So if you are feeling similarly, which all of you all are because you're giving me an amen, right? This is your opportunity because what's happening right now is that your husband is taking actions and you're having thoughts about it that's bringing up all your feelings, okay? But it's not that your husband's actions are creating your feelings. And this is the best news ever. Because this means that you can start moving forward. You can let go of all the emotional baggage. You can start moving forward. You can process it and let it go. And you can change the things that you think and feel so that you don't stay stuck in a place where peace is not an option. If you get nothing else from today, I want you to know that peace is an option for you because it's not dependent on what he's doing. You guys with me?